Hello, we have a quick example problem for you here, courtesy one of our subscribers, Andy. Andy has a question uh, on one of our most practiced tests. He looked at this problem and wanted to know how we got to the answer. A flocculation basin measures 15 feet wide by 15 feet long by 12 feet deep. If it is processing a flow rate of 2 mgd, how many minutes does it take for water to pass through the structure. Well, in our water math classes at most, we emphasize a four-step uh, procedure to begin every problem. First, we read the problem, and then we read it again. We want to make sure that we're answering the right question, and oftentimes these math problems sound different the second time through, or even the third time through. But read it as many times as you need to to be absolutely clear on what the problem is asking of you before you move forward. And then simplify the question. Make it just three or four or five words, if at all possible. And then hone in on the equation or the formula that's going to get you to the answer. And finally, once we have our formula established, look for the variables, the information in the problem that will allow us to calculate our answer. Now when it comes to identifying the formula, at most we have identified five key formulas depicted here with these formula wheels. And essentially every problem that you will encounter will be solved by one of these formulas or perhaps as in Andy's questions case, um, by a combination of these formulas. So let's read Andy's question again and make sure we know what we're doing. And then we want to simplify the question. And the key word here is minutes. How many minutes does it take for the water to pass through the structure? Well, minutes is a unit of time. So that is our question. What is the time? And there's only one formula that out of our five that includes the variable time so we know right away which formula we have to use and to find the time it will be the volume divided by the flow rate. That's the basis for most course WM4, this formula. So back to Andy's question, we want to find the time in minutes, and the time will be the volume divided by the flow rate. So the fourth step in our uh, procedure is to look for these two variables of volume and flow rate. Do we have the volume in the problem? Well, we don't, but we do have the dimensions of the basin. So with a little preliminary work, we can find the volume. That won't be too tough, but we are going to have to do that first. And then the flow rate. Well, we have a flow rate, but our problem here is that the flow rate will be in the wrong units. We need for our volume and our flow rate to be in compatible units. And if we want our answer to be in minutes, then our flow rate should be in minutes-oriented units. How about gallons per minute? And if our flow rate is in gallons per minute, then we'll want our volume not in cubic feet, but in gallons. So let's find that volume. And to do that, we're going to use another one of our most five formulas. The volume is the area of the base multiplied by the height. So as we look at our flocculation basin, we have the area of the base as the length times the width and then multiplied by the height or the depth of our water here. So that's 15 feet by 15 feet, length and width, times our height or depth of 12 feet, and the volume of our flocculation basin is 2,700 cubic feet. However, we want to express that volume in gallons so that we're in compatible units with our flow rate, as we'll get to in a moment. So we use our favorite conversion factor here to get out of cubic feet and into gallons by multiplying by 7.48. And now our volume is 20,196 gallons in our flocculation basin. 
Well, now we can move on to the second variable, which is flow rate. And the flow rate we have as 2 million gallons per day. So that's depicted in our first term in a fractional form, which is exactly how we begin all of our dimensional analysis problems. We then multiply by a couple of conversion factors. These are fractions that are equal to 1, and the first fraction is 1 million gallons divided by 1 million gallons. That gets us out of the mg's and into just the gallons. So that gives us 2 million gallons every day, but we want gallons per minute. So we're going to divide then by the number of minutes in a day, that's 1440, and we see that all of our units cancel out except for gallons per minute. So it's calculator time, 2 times 1 million divided by 1440, and our flow rate is 1389 gallons per minute, the same as 2 MGD, but now in compatible units for our calculation. And if you had trouble making this conversion, you need to take a look at most course WM1 on dimensional analysis and making conversions. Okay, back to Andy's question. We have now uh, found the volume of our flocculation basin and converted our time into the proper units so we can go to our final calculation, the calculation of time and that will be the volume divided by the flow rate, the 20,196 gallons in that flocculation basin. And when we divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by that fraction flipped over or inverted. In this case, 1,389 gallons per minute becomes one minute divided by 1,389 gallons. And we see the gallons cancel out numerator and denominator our time is left in minutes. And when we divide 20,196 by 1389, we get 14.5 minutes. So that's a very uh, typical type of question you might encounter on a certification exam. And you can look at several uh, similar questions in most course WM4. So we hope that helps you, Andy. And if you need additional assistance with your water math, come back to mostwatertraining.com. Thanks.